So we've made it to the rad race, a race I'm going to be competing in, but we thought it'd be a really good idea to come and take a look at some of the bikes. There's going to be some high rises, some flat bars, some short cranks and some crazy paint jobs. So I reckon we should go and take a look. I managed to get my hands on one of the Canyon Rad Pack team bikes. This is actually the test bike of the V-Rad. And he's got some mountain bike bars, they're 700 width. He's got for some Shimano SPD mountain bike pedals. 165 cranks, a 48 gear. Vittoria 25 width tires on DT Swiss rims. And it's aluminium. I mean, I guess that's for the crashes. But yeah, it looks super cool, loving the paint job. But is this the winning bike? And he's actually in my heat, so I hope not. Now one really cool feature is this custom Selmarco saddle. It's got Rad Race on it. Look at that, that's sick. This bike looks seriously familiar because it's one of the Look Pro Team race bikes. This is the 464P aluminium frame. And he's got also some riser bars, they're the 64 width riser bars with a really short stem on and it's good for the agileness of this racing. He's got some Michelin tyres, 28s on the front and the rear, Corima rims, carbon rims, 170 cranks with also some look pedals and they're the one-sided ones which is quite interesting. And also I should probably mention he's also gone for a 48 gear. It looks like a nice setup but actually. Managed to find this, this is a carbon bamboo frame which is actually size 54, which is perfect for me. But look at that, that is simply beautiful. And it's accompanied with carbon forks. I mean, that is just incredible. And the chap that actually made it is racing tonight. I have to say, I don't know if it belongs on a racetrack or in a museum, but that is truly spectacular. I might actually take it for a spin. And I would say, look at that number. Dan's gonna love that. This bike really stood out for me. Look at that custom paint job on this eight bar track bike. You've got a Brooks custom saddle in the same look, similar paint job. You've also got the DT Swiss carbon rims with the matching decals. I mean, I have to say, that looks pretty cool. Woo. So you might have noticed it's got a bit dark and that's because we're getting late into the rounds of the rad race, but I've managed to pick up this bike. This is a bike from space. This is a standard. It's got some really cool custom bits to it. It's got rockets out on the back. You've got the galaxy in the decal on that front of the frame. Now I would say though, there's a cool story about the rear wheel being different. And that's because the rider of this bike had a rip in his tire after the first round. So had to swap it out with a mate's bike, I guess. That's what mates are for. So keeping with that space feel, we've gone for a saddle that is a holographic power one, which yeah, really gives it a nice pop when you've got a light on it. But I love that bit, the planets. Mm. Just picked this up before I go to the quarterfinals. Look at that, a supernova fixie alloy frame with that amazing blue and orange decal look. I mean, look at that. It's also gone for those decals on those carbon rims and a tan wall tire on the rear. But unfortunately, it doesn't have it on the front. But that looks pretty cool, I have to say. Right, I've got my hands on this olive green Dosna Venta. Really cool looking frame, actually. He's gone for some gravel bars, drop handlebars, which is quite unusual for a fixed gear bike. And you might be wondering what that is in the middle. And that's to stop the frame from cracking when the bars come round. Unfortunately, the guy's actually crashed in the last round, so he's not racing it into the qualies but it's a really cool looking bike and I'm glad I've got my hands on it. One thing I am going to mention though is he's got that integrated seat post. So you have to get that cut down to size so there's no changing, but I have to say it looks really cool and that keeps it nice and stiff when you're riding it. Look pedals and a nice short crank for this fixed gear racing. Now last thing I'll mention is that the chaps actually told me there's only three bikes of this colour in the world. That's pretty cool. Managed to get my hands on this, which was only built yesterday on Friday and the chap's racing it tonight. But this is a kingdom made from a small company in Dubai. Where, as you can tell, it's got that Dubai feel with the gold and then that gold handlebar tape. Nice matte black with, all, with also a polished black feel. Speedplay pedals, 
But that's a really nice setup. So I've been having a really good look at some of the fixies that we have been racing here at the Rad Race Last Man Standing. If you did like this video, then give it a big thumbs up. And if you want to see how I got on on the race, then why don't you click down here? What happened to you, mate?